parched desert sands of ancient Osirian. Long forgotten secrets are becoming unearthed that could threaten the security of the entire region. Throughout Wati, undead uprisings and once forgotten ancient threats reveal themselves from empty graves. And only our heroes can withstand the forces of The Mummy's Mask. Previously on The Mithril Tabletop. And then as you guys are kind of like enjoying the after parties, this army of zombies bursts through. This entire building no. is difficult terrain. Lava! So I'm not gonna rage yet because I know that they're gonna attack me and so I'll just get it for free. So Kepri's first action is gonna be fireball. Uh, okay, we're just starting uh, off strong, all right. Kepri, Kepri, there are three of us amongst them. You see this giant swarm of creepy crawly hands marching towards the <gasps> canyon jackal. Crawly hands! You guys hear a banging on the door. Oh, come on. Another? The backstage behind you all. And from inside the storage closets emerges a wrapped figure covered in bandages. And her very presence is terrifying. Hello, and thank you, valued listeners, for continuing to listen to our podcast and continue this journey with us. My name is Alyssa, the voice of Habibi, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a reminder that you are more than welcome to reach out to us on any of our social media platforms. We are very active on TikTok and Instagram, and we try to post on Reddit at least once a week. So feel free to interact with us and we can't wait to hear from you and without further ado let's get into episode 43 a grave matter with an adventure called mummy's mask it's uh, it's obviously assumed that eventually there's going to be a mummy encounter at some point Right? And no. I know I asked you guys earlier. Shut up. I asked you guys earlier when you guys thought, or like how often you guys thought mummies would happen. And I remember, I think it was Angela said that you would have a major mummy fight once per book. And you guys didn't have a single mummy a encounter single one. at all a in single book one. one. You, had, you had a couple like, like what, what were they called? You psyched us uh, out with the adherer, but that yes. wasn't a true mummy. Fake outs. Those are like misdirections. You had like a couple of those things. But now, this is your first, honest to God, actual, real mummy fight. I'm curious about another thing. What do you guys know mechanically about mummies from Pathfinder? Like, they're a very mummy iconic. Rot. Mummy There's rot. mummy rot. Undead. Bad. Mu- thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they're undead, sure. Is that all you guys know? They have lots of diseases. I think they're, I think some have more than just the mummy rot, right? I don't know. I think we've got uh, it under wrap. I don't know. It's probably filth uh, fever. I'm, yeah, I, I, I would give it a good fever. filth fever. <laughs> filth or Phil? Phil. You know, Phil's fever. If the, if the mummy's name is Phil, then it's Phil fever. <laughs> but also. Oh, man. No, okay. I, I do want to get, like, just jump right in. I'm, just, I'm, I'm really curious to see how you guys respond to this because yeah, there's awesome. one other <laughs> very important, like, very classic element to mummies that you guys did not mention. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see if you guys remember it when it pops up. But first, you guys might need a hero point to help you out. How about that? Yes, yeah. please. Let's give hero point. Hmm, who am I going to give it to this time? Let's give it to Tariq, maybe. Ooh, MVP ooh. to Tariq for the awesome use of Loose Time's arrow. It's always so good. It's saying... <laughs> <laughs> it's, is saying it's goat appropriate? <laughs> question mark. Sweaty smiley face. I don't know why they bolded the words they bolded, but that's what they did. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that like word that. means. Um, so that was yeah. MVP that was to Katie. Read. What the goat? That was means. Katie. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Oh. <laughs> You didn't know that. Words. No, I didn't you know, know that. You, you have access to Google to Google these words that you use. <laughs> that would involve me Googling it before I sent it, which I did not do. Uh, pretty clearly. Oh. It's, there's no time pressure. You have the time. No, Whatever. there is a time MVP, pressure. <laughs> MVP to Tariq for that amazing hit. So much damage. There was like five O's. 
MVP, I vote for Tariq getting that MLB play with that hand was epic. Also using his mega skills like a boss. And then finally, honorable mentions to Tawny and Katie. Tawny for her hilarious, not so good, only average attack damage <laughs> for trying to protect everyone too. <laughs> and then finally... <laughs> average uh, was it like right. 40 it was, <laughs> he was like, was like oh my god i can't remember so it was high but you're like oh that's just average <laughs> like what <laughs> the final honorable mention goes to Kareth. So he was hilarious rather than get out from under the rubble he had to take his shot and he hit hashtag making a killing <laughs> oh no y'all are oh rude. man <laughs> y'all that was just aaron <laughs> I like how you know. All right. <laughs> so, in case that wasn't summary enough, when we last left our heroes, they had finally gotten to the 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 what was this place called? The auction house, the 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 canny jackal to sell off all the loot they had earned and found and dug up from the necropolis. Now that they're here and selling it, they sold it off. They made a bunch of money. Cool, cool. Everyone's happy. Suddenly, knock, knock, knock. Here comes the undead, and I can finally reveal the name of the book. It's called Empty Graves, and this is probably why. And well, specifically, part one. Emptying a lot of graves. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Billy. It's like Billy from Hocus Pocus. Oh, I love sure. Billy. Okay, but honestly, guys, have you guys seen Adventure Time? This totally reminds me of that one episode where they're all having that party and yes. the zombies start attacking and, oh my, they, have and they have to, to eat them. Oh. Oh my yes, God. we have to keep the candy people from finding out because Princess Bubblegum doesn't want them to explode. Yeah. I know what episode you're what? talking about. <laughs> oh my, that's maybe like, I have to watch that's that. That's in like season one. Yeah, oh, that's an old Adventure school Time. episode, but that's what I thought of because we're here at this party and then all of a sudden the undead <laughs> start attacking and I'm we like, oh my Princess gosh, it's Adventure Bubblegum. Time. <laughs> I, my favorite part about this entire thing too is you guys killed the zombies. You're like, wow, that was really easy. We're done. I'm like, nope, we're still in an issue. You're like, wait, why? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and then more shit happened. And they keep getting progressively harder. But I'm surprised. I thought for sure there was going to be at least one or two more zombie uprisings. But so far, you guys have been keeping all of the, like, the guests that were dying alive and not fully dead. Now, there are still two that are currently buried under this rubble. Uh, Kareth managed to escape, but they're currently still dying. The zombies are all dead, but they might turn into two more. You still have the, the, the skeletal crawling hand swarm around them as oh, well I under the rubble. About the fucking hands. And of course, the one I'm most excited for, the one you guys are most excited for, your first real mummy. And she has a name, and she is going to spend her first two actions striding up. Uh, and it's difficult to rain for everyone, so it's difficult to rain for her as well. She strides up, gets a little closer, and then suddenly, as she like starts swarming through the audience, through the crowd here, people what are trying to like, like escape. Let me explain. There's this aura around this character here in this uh, Foundry virtual tabletop that we're using. And as she got closer, everyone immediately became frightened. Yep, Mommy, I don't feel so well. That. She has See, an aura that doesn't even require a save. You're just frightened so long as you're in the aura. See, this is why we need a champion. Mommy, I'm scared. <laughs> There's one more thing. Kepri, Habibi, Ramses, I need you all to roll me a will save. Why oh, do you whoa. hate us? Despair. <clears throat> whoa. <laughs> whoa, oh, Sidri. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <gasps> Osiris be praised. Osiris be praised. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, we're going to start from the top. We're going to roll down to the bottom. Uh, first up, first, uh, let's go with Alyssa. What did Habibi roll? Um, Habibi rolled with Osiris's help a natural 20 for... <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Next, let's go with Ashley. What did Habibi roll? Oh, Habibi. What did <laughs> Ashley, what did Habibi roll? Habibi rolled a natural 20 with all right, Osiris's help. All right, all right, okay. What? <laughs> Rolled, what did Capri roll? Capri rolled a 12 for a 24 total. And Ramsey's. 24. Yep. And Ramsey's rolled a 12 as well for a 22 total. All right. You just barely are able to, like, withstand the paralyzing gaze <gasps> of this Ooh. dread aura. Ramsey's, on the other hand, is so terrified. You see his tail no. tucked between his legs. He is paralyzed. <gasps> 
with fear. <gasps> oh, How dare you no. do that to my dog? Poor boy. Paralyze is rough because you can't do anything except nope. you, try you, to fight you it You just off. basically lose your turn. Yeah, yep. you basically lose your turn. You can maybe recall knowledge, but Ramses can't recall knowledge. Yep. He doesn't know shit. <laughs> uh, he knows how to <laughs> sneak. He knows, he knows he's, he's a good, good boy. And guess he's what? Good boy. He's a boy. He's a follower of Nephis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> on his turn does he get another will save to try to overcome the paralyze the good news is the paralysis is only for one round oh okay, okay. but if you stay in the aura you have to keep rolling right no if you're in if you, you only roll once once you're once you're uh regardless of the save you're immune for 24 hours so oh. habibi and kepri no longer have to roll for the awesome. for the dread aura but so Yay. long as they're in the aura they're always afraid they're always frightened one no matter what Okay. Um, speaking of frightened, Septi is like paralyzed with fear as well. But you can kind of see she's just like standing there. She's quivering. She's like, "No, no, it can't be! I looked in the sarcophagus. It was empty. You shouldn't be here. What's going on?" Oh, there they did you say there, it. What? They said there was a mummy. He said that. Oh, I should have thought about that. Oh yeah, like way they back there when at one. the Tooth and Hookah, didn't someone claim that they fought a mummy? No, no, no. They he he mentioned in the description of like things that were being sold. He did say there was like a sarcophagus with like a m the actual mummy. Oh when no! He was, like I can't remember which day, but he did say that. I Why didn't you sure. fill it with holy water? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be the crawling hands turn. Should have expected this. Stupid hands. <laughs> you should always expect the unexpected. They're going to spend their first action just pummeling the dead or the dying corpses in front of them right now. Dying corpses? They're not corpses if they're oh, not all dying. All right, fine. The not... dying people soon to be corpses. They go up to dying three. Do I want to spend the last two actions ensuring their demise no. or should I attack the party? It's going to use its second action, striding over towards Kareth and Tawny. And its I third action, <laughs> it's going to try and pummel them as well. I need both of you to roll me a reflex save. All right, Tawny, what'd you get first? I rolled a 12 on the die for a 19. All right, a 19, unfortunately, is a failure. Kareth, what did you roll? I rolled lower, but got the same result. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 8 on the die, also for a 19. All right. Well, you guys both get full damage. However, <laughs> I kid you not, on 3d6, <laughs> I rolled three fucking ones. <laughs> Just one, one, fucking one. A bunch of stub Lord. fingers. <laughs> I, I'm having a deja vu moment. <sighs> I have... Well, I, I think I know why you're having deja vu moment, because there is one other thing that thankfully happens on a failure. No, and both of you guys not, fall prone. No, that, that, that's not what it was. No, no, no. I would like to decline oh, that man. action, actually. No, uh, you guys failed the save, so you guys go prone. And Tani, it's your turn. Oh, I just got up. <laughs> I know. I get this is why it's up this again. is the deja vu for you. <laughs> I feel like we've oh, been man. here before. <laughs> <laughs> On the doorsteps of a building, I'm constantly falling prone. Hmm, where have I been? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go ahead, Tawny. Uh, I'm going to stand up and I'm... First action. And my <laughs> my weapon is still bludgeoning right now. Just wanted to remember that. Um, well, it's versatile, so you can switch it mid-swing. So like, you can do one attack, bludgeoning, spin it in your hand, and then attack with the back half of the, of the thing and do slashing. Okay. My question to you is if mm -hmm. I critically hit this am i okay. able to use my critical specialization to hit it again since it's so big and there's so many of them i'm gonna say no because it's acting as one entity not so much as like multiple of them that is fine i just wanted to make sure i yeah i'm just gonna try to get rid of these hands i was debating if i wanted to get into the room and get in front of habibi to be like the mm -hmm. target for the mummy but, but no, I Come think I need mommy. to get rid of these hands. So I'm gonna. Yeah, don't forget, the auction house <laughs> is still <laughs> difficult to raise. Do you need yeah. to catch these hands? Yes, I need to catch the no. hands. Um, eleven on the die for a twenty-five. A twenty-five is a solid hit. Let's see how much damage you do. <laughs> Probably 20 <average>. points. <laughs> Yes. 20 points, not bad. Yes, it is average, actually. <laughs> oh my god! 
Well, the good news is there weren't that many of them left. Just a couple of la last hands. They crawl up and you're like, not today, smash. And they all just like kind of crumple over. A couple of hands left, like one or two just kind of like scurry away. They're like, ah, fuck this. And they, <laughs> they disappear into they the night. <laughs> <laughs> they they, they, they go, snap, snap. <laughs> they sign. They sign fuck yeah. this. I'm <laughs> out of here. They just <laughs> off and move on. <laughs> Um, okay, so I can kind of see this mummy, like, mm -hmm. vaguely, and, like, I see the fear on Habibi, I see Ramsey's just, like, frozen, and then I heard Septi, so I want to do a recall knowledge. All right, give me that juicy religion check. You got this. I have faith in thee. Also ask this. for her name. <laughs> uh, what? I suppose maybe? <laughs> No, uh, all right, so mummies, let's see here. <laughs> also, you know... ask for her name. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought, I don't know what you are talking What's about until just now. <laughs> What's, your What's your name? What's your name? I'm not going to tell you because you failed your knowledge check. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> all right, that was a solid round. Kepri, <laughs> it is your turn. Okay, so Kepri's uh... first action is going to be um, recall knowledge on the mummy. All right, also give me a religion check. So, with your knowledge check, uh, here's what I can tell you about mummies. Uh, they are very common in Osirian, but not just Osirian. They're, they're, they're found all over the world, and they're, there's often, like, natural mummification, where you're in very high, dry-up places, like, like, uh, Arctic mountains, for example, or if you're in very, like, saline environments, like, very dirty, salty swamps. Bogs. They also create natural bogs, they create natural mummies. But in Osirian, especially, they created uh, mummies ritualistically to help preserve their bodies into the afterlife. Now, this mummy in particular seems to be some sort of, like, um, noble woman. She seems to be, like, the, the wife of some aristocrat. She has the jewelry. She has the, the makeup on her funerary mask. She has the, the crown and stuff. So she seems to be very well-to-do, which makes sense because, you know, mummification was an expensive, arduous, time-consuming process that not everyone could just afford. Mrs. Akintepi, is that you? <laughs> no! You're getting closer, though! Oh! Uh, Are you Akintepi's no, really. daughter? No, shut the fuck up. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, so mummies, because they're so old, they, fun fact, they don't speak common. They speak ancient Osiriani only. But you also know about mummy rot. I will tell you one other thing, though, because you already discovered the despair aura. They have usually a weakness to fire. Hell yeah. Burn Do it. you know why? Because they're super dry bandages. and they Because of up. the bandages. That was first action. You have two actions left. Go. All right. Ignition. Attack. Oh. A four did not hit. No, probably not. Um, four total? No, 14. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that's not going to hit. Kareth, it is your turn. Ramses is no longer paralyzed with fear. He is still a little spooked. But Kareth, it is now your turn. All right. Uh, first action, I am going to stand up. Okay. Okay. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work on getting closer. Um, so it is still difficult to rain. Um, 45, so I can still only move 15 at a time. So I can get a total of 30, so I can get right there. So I am Perfect. moving south, southwest first and then south into the room. So I am now two squares above the evil mummy lady. You don't know she's evil. <laughs> Well, All right. technically she's not because alignments no longer exist. Exactly. For the better, I think. All right. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else for your turn? Or is that uh, it? No, that was it. Stood up and then Perfect. two actions to get there. Habibi, it is your turn. All right. For my first, second, and third action, I am going to cast <laughs> Heal. Woo! All right. And um, that should help the people who are dying. That is 12 points of healing. What's the fortitude DC? Uh, DC 20. Basic fortitude. 20? Yeah. Uh, I got a 30 for a critical success. Aww, uh, that's rude. Uh... <laughs> Disrespectful, I know. That's okay. Um, all right. So the two guests, they're going to heal some. And so that you said 12 hit points, right? Perfect. Everyone else who's in the aura, also heal up your stuff. And we are going to move on to Tariq. It is your turn. 
So, um, Tariq is going to step into the room. So, um, would this be one move action? Like, where does the rough terrain start? It starts as soon as you see the tiling of the room. So I'm going to take one move action to step out of the courtyard um, and walk into the foyer, I guess, area. Uh, and there he's going to see the the, uh, the mummy. And he's going to try and do um, Magus Analysis to maybe hopefully restore his uh, spell strike. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about Mummy Rot. Because I feel like this is a disease you guys are going to be very well acquainted with. This disease and any damage from it cannot be healed until the curse is first removed. It is both a curse and a disease. So you have to first remove the curse. And once the curse is gone, then you can start curing the disease naturally. After the... When you get hit first stage you're a carrier for one minute so it, you can probably be fine while you're fighting the mummy but as soon as the fight with the mummy is done you have to roll another st uh, another stage to maybe go up to stage two at that point you take damage and you are stupefied for the whole day the next day you do the save again and you can never advance past stage one so if you roll a successful fortitude save you become a carrier for a minute and then you have to roll the save again possibly failing until you move back to stage two for the day and just constantly back and forth like that until you remove the curse it can very quickly kill you and do you get that because i actually am not familiar with mummy rot because this is my first mummy yeah i Me will too. show you how you get mummy but, rot in just a second okay all right i was like i, I like to, does it bite you like <laughs> there's one last thing i should tell you about mummy rot a creature killed by mummy rot turns to dust and can't be resurrected except for a seventh tier resurrection ritual. Which means you guys have to be level like 15 or something. And doesn't it have a time limit? Like you have to revive them with that ritual within that, so much yeah, time? Yeah, that's probably, that's all details in the ritual yeah. uh, or the resurrect ritual <laughs> itself. But so basically, basically you ain't coming back. Yeah, if you die to this particular mummy, you ain't coming back so ever, buddy. What level is Septi again? <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, <laughs> level 17. You definitely do know. I don't <laughs> level know. 17. I, 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 I don't know. All right, so that was your first action. You move. Second action, you make analysis. Recharges your spell strike. You have one remaining action. Yay. What do you got from me? Uh, I mean, I'm just going to write that my spell strike is recharged. <laughs> just so I don't forget. All right, and then I can get like another 15 feet closer. Uh, so I will move to like right there. Um, so right, which perfect. is I'm gonna go over to uh, the left some. So I'm like a tad bit closer to the mummy, but still pretty far away. <laughs> yep. And as you get closer, you just feel this aura of, of fear and despair just overtake you. You he can't shivers. help but feel. <laughs> yeah, like you feel this tingle down your spine. All right, let's see if the guests die. Uh, <laughs> both, <laughs> so just a matter of fact. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they're both healed thanks to Habibi. So they're now, they're no longer dying three, but they are wounded and the, the, the stones are still crumbling on top of them. Uh, and they are each going to fail their saves and they're going to go down to dying oh my God. this time dude like can y'all just fucking stay up move oh my the, god y'all are useless all right i mean they're probably now... nobles so sorry sorry yeah. BB. no it's fine uh it's gonna be the mummy's turn she's gonna take a step forward and go right into carrot's face and ah! carrot you see you're a pretty I tall dude i would like to decline how tall are you again, um, by the way, as an on, elf? Hold on, I have it written down. Um, he <laughs> is 6'3". Six You're 6'3", six eh? Uh, alright. She is... <laughs> she is... She's pretty tall for uh, especially an ancient Osiriani woman. She's closer to 6' than not. So she's like 5' 10 or 11. So she's very... She has this very large, imposing figure. And as she reaches forth, she kind of like nope. brings nope. up this hand overreaching and like grabs the mouth uh, on your face. Ah! And she's going to try and do an unarmed attack. I did not consent. Uh, you're not going to consent to this either. How's a 37 grab? Oh, jeez. Oh, you... Fully know that that is a crit. <laughs> you I know. fully know. Take thirty points of bludgeoning <laughs> damage. Oh, that's horrible. Ow. And then, 
<laughs> Roll me a fortitude save. Surprisingly, fortitude is one of my best saves. I know, surprising. Good luck. But he's unstable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, that is a mm -hmm. 15 on the die for a 26. A 26, you're fine. Oh, thank okay, God. Good. I was holding my breath. Let's do it again. Oh. oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. That was just one attack. How's 18 grab you? <laughs> it doesn't. Move on. <laughs> you're lucky this time. It's going to be Septi's turn. And she's going to look at this thing, and she's going to try and lance at it with one of her spells. She's going to cast a, uh, uh, she's going to cast Searing Light at this thing. Oh. Is that the old Divine Lance? Uh, no. Old Divine Lance is just Divine Lance. Oh, <laughs> oh. it's still called that. Uh, Searing Light got renamed into Holy Light, I believe. I, oh, I might be wrong. okay. Uh, but she, you just see her, like, channel the power of Phrasma. She's like, holds up her holy symbol, and this flaming spiral of blue fire swirls around, and she misses just barely as it lands into the, into the seat next to the mummy, and just, like, it catches on holy fire. Um, and uh, she's going to try and get closer to the, the people up north with her final action. Tawny, it is your turn. Um, Tawny is going to stride twice, but as you see her do this, so the pectoral that she has on is like lighting up as she is going to spend two actions, um, to gain a plus 10, um, speed bonus so that she can make it within reach of the mummy because of the difficult terrain. All right. Beautiful. Look at you guys using your new toys. <laughs> Uh, Karis, did you roll a will save when you came into the aura? No. I don't think you, Tawny, or Tariq did, so why don't all three of you guys just roll me those will saves right now? Uh, can we decline? <laughs> mm, no. Man, I should have had you guys roll that earlier. <laughs> a 24 was good, right? <laughs> um, actually, yes. I think it's... A 24 was fine. Yeah, because I rolled a 14 on the die for a 24. But the 22 missed. I rolled a 17 on the die for a 26. Oh, so 26, you're fine. Tawny, you said 24, you're also fine. Oh, 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 nat 20 for Whoa. a 30. <laughs> all right, all of you guys are just fine. None of you guys are worried about the first mummy. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Kareth just might die. So we've seen oh. some things. This isn't, this isn't the scariest thing we've seen. You're, I know. All right, you got one action left, Tawny. What do you got for me? Did anyone figure out, like, if the mummy is resistant to something and I just freak, I just missed it? Like, is it resistant to, like, slashing or bludgeoning? You learned its weaknesses. You learned about mummy rot, about despair. That's about all you've learned so far. We have not done We have not done its strength. So if you want more, you'll have to, to check yourself. Oh. You know it's weak <laughs> like to fire. Like, that's going to happen before I'm gonna... you break yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. I'm going to stay with bludgeoning. Um, Smack it. I rolled a natural one. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to re-roll it because it's already, it, it's already taken a huge chunk of Carrot's points with just one hit. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, it was a crit. Mm-hmm. And then she missed, so it's fine. Totally fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I rolled a 18 on the die for a 31. A 31 is a hit. Roll nice. that damage. 22 points of damage. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, she seems scratched. She seems like she's seen better days. She takes a big, like, thunk to the chest, and she roars out in uh, anger and frustration with you. Kepri, it is your turn again. Okay, so I guess we'll do ignition this time. So ignition, okay. we're going to try again. Will a 26 hit? A 26 hits? Yeah. Solid hit. Woo! Okay. And she is going to take... Seven fire damage on a... I rolled a three, a one, a one, and a one, by the way. <laughs> Can't win them all. Yep, but um, all right. four is fire damage. Not bad. Uh, no, she definitely takes a, a lot more damage than that. Uh, she seemed like your, her bandages start catching fire a little bit. They're like singeing. You have one action remaining. What would you like to do? What do I want to do? <laughs> That's a you can command Ramses, or you can cast the one action blazing bolt. It's up to you. Uh... I'm just worried if I do Blazing Bolt, I'm going to need it. Nope, we're just going to do the one action Blazing Bolt. <laughs> All right, go for it. Do, 
do. Remember, this is a multiple attack penalty, so minus five. Oh. Okay. Well, it didn't hit. Do you have a hero point? Yeah, but I'm not going to use it. So Ramses right. does get one action still. He does indeed. So Ramses is moving from under Septi. You know, he's like, oh, I like Septi. And then he's going to move over to these two people who are in the rubble. Um, I think he just kind of notices Septi's going that way. And he's like, I will help. And he runs over and he's standing right next to the people who are already buried. And yeah, he'll he'll spend, he'll, he has his free action to move there. The next two turns, I will say, he has to spend his free action or unless you want to command him. He needs two actions total to dig out one person. Thank you. All right. Kareth, it is your turn. So Kareth is going to spend his first action coming to the south. So going to be two squares below the mummy and amidst all the all the people. Um, with his second action, he is going to activate one of his new um, items. He's going to activate his siphon weapon. So as part of the action, basically I am fitting a alchemical bomb into like this tubing that's attached to the end of his spear, uh, which will end up being a lesser alchemist fire. Um, so essentially the next three attacks made with this weapon are going to deal some damage of whatever that bomb is in addition to my usual damage. Um, so yeah, the, the downside is my, uh, multiple attack penalty is increased, but that's okay. All right. So let me try and hit for my final action. Ooh, I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> Off to a good start. <laughs> oh, I think that's a hit. The second roll is a 13 on the die for a 26 to hit. A 26? We know hits? Yes! Roll that damage. Everything combined, that is a total of 20 points of damage. Wow. Uh, three of that is going to be fire. Um, it's already included in the amount. So it should nice, calculate the resistance perfect uh, well done let me get rid of that bomb because now it is gone forever oh, <laughs> bye bomb uh, you still have Sad it applied day. for two more attacks but yep. yeah that bomb does get uh, whittled away what I like to imagine is like you screw the bomb onto the like like port and just kind of like drains the bomb of like its alchemical <laughs> fluids slowly yep. over time and just like every time you stab kind of like you know how in Breath of the Wild you just like see his great sword of fire just kind of like goes down in the charge or whatever I, what I what I also like about it is because uh, normally bombs will deal splash damage, and with this, they do not. Right, exactly. Uh, Habibi, it is your turn. All right, so with our knowledge check that we did, do we know what her weakest save is? I don't remember if that was said. No, all you guys learned so far are weaknesses, uh, her despair aura, and mummy rod. Okay, so can I try again? Sure, yeah, roll me a religion check. Perfect. Okay, um... Let's see here. You think that her weakest save is probably her will save. Really? That's interesting. I'm surprised it wouldn't be a reflex since she's been dead for so long. Yeah. I wonder if she's mindless. Because <laughs> he, she's literally mindless. She's a mummy. <laughs> they took her brain wow. out, so... It's true. It's true. <laughs> I mean... The brain is useless. You don't need a brain. Yeah, it's the heart where everything goes. Everything's exactly. Keep insane. the heart. Keep the lungs. <laughs> what is this gray lump in the brain? It's just or in the head. It doesn't do anything. We can't see it doing anything. Just get rid of it. That only told me that what I thought her weakest save was. I would also get to know mm -hmm. what her strongest one is. Nope. Oh, dang. Not for this one. Okay. You have two actions left. What would you like to do? I'm going to go ahead and cast Bless. Yeah. So, bless yes. away. And what's really nice is it used to only be a, a 10 foot emanation when I started. Less it. than that, five. Or was it five? Now it's yeah. 15. It starts nice. out wow. I know. And every time you spend jump. an action, it is. It's triple. And every time you concentrate on it to sustain it, instead of growing five feet, it grows 10 feet. Oh. It's very nice. It's very nice. Cleric's got a uh, fucking giant upgrade. Dude, so. I want to play a cleric so badly now. <laughs> All right, I'll let you take care of uh, doing all that shit. Tariq, it is now your turn. So does the bless, like, basically counteract the frightened? No, 
Okay. It gives you a plus one status bonus to attack rolls while we're oh, in my animation. I'm going to need that in a moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. So Tariq, Tariq is going to go move past to BB, and then as he's moving past to BB, he's going to give him a high five and say, thanks, man. <laughs> Aww, and then I feel it. gifted and blessed. <laughs> hashtag blessed. <laughs> hashtag blessed. Um, so, sorry, Katie, we said hashtag. Um, <laughs> so... He's going to stay away from the mummy a little bit, though, because as he's walking, um, you see his staff is going to lengthen into a two-hand grip, and you see this kind of trail of flames a little bit uh, emerging from his staff as he tries to hit with a spell strike of ignition. All right, well... we'll And you can do it in melee because you're using your staff to channel the reach. Nice! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which means you're dealing d6 damage instead of d4. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, I think it's gonna hit. It's a thirty-five oh. with a nat twenty. <laughs> oh! Uh, a thirty-five is not just a hit; that's a crit. Oh yes. Okay, and then I, for some reason my um, ignition is not popping up, but regular uh. damage is a thirty-four. Oh, oh, um, it was twenty regular, so it's gonna be a oh my forty gosh. fire damage. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Dang! So, Tariq comes in I'm with this myself. massive blow. Tariq, he comes in with this giant staff and it just like ignites and turns into pure flame as he thwacks on this mummy. I'm just going to reveal her name because it's inconsequential. It, her name was. She Ab- shouts it as she burns alive. Or burns <laughs> she to shouts death. it out. She shouts it out in ancient Syria. It's like, my name was Emma Joet. Remember me? No. And she like just burns up like from her feet all the way up through her tor- torso as she kind of like crumbles down to her bones and like you see these uh, her her arms just kind of like reach out and uh, just like crumble down into dust as she falls Jeez. down and dies. And you just see him kind of like spin his staff and bring it down beside his side. And he just kind of looks around the room for any more danger. And with that, we finally end this encounter. As I assume you guys will finally eventually take your time with the clerics and the healing and all that stuff to try and take care of the guests who are still injured and or uh, in, in pain and trouble. And Ramsey's <sighs> was getting ready to dig them out. <laughs> yeah, he was. So, so Ramsey's like, such a good boy. Such a good boy. Except he does like this big burst of healing, and then you guys like run to the north and try helping out. As you guys get to the door, what? And like you go, God you go outside, it. and you guys are just like looking out to the sunburst market, looking out to the rest of Wati. You see a city that you almost don't recognize. Wow. The entire city seems to be panicking. You see, like, small fires, like, bursting up here and there, and, like, screams can be heard echoing throughout the neighborhoods of the city. The sun has been, has set for a few hours now, so it's, like, dark uh, as, like, as night can be. Usually it's, like, probably, like, around 11.30 p.m., almost midnight, and people are starting to wake up, candles are being lit, and people are just running around. Everyone who was at the auction house has now fled and are in the streets trying to flee. And you see all these, like, lumbering hordes of undead everywhere in the streets. The entire city is overrun by undead. Oh, oh, gosh. My parents! Wow. My family! Yeah. Oh, no! <gasps> oh, my gosh! Tawny! Tawny, like, when Tawny realizes this, Tawny is just, like, she's just going to take off running, like, towards her family's house. Because she's got to see if they're they're okay. Like, yeah, like fuck absolutely. these nobles. <laughs> <laughs> so Tawny starts running off. Uh, Habibi, I assume you're going to yeah. take off right behind her? That's right. Well, I'm keeping stride right. because, you know, I have fleet feet. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So actually, what you would say is you would be like going faster than her. In fact, no, right? Because- I'm just matching oh. her stride. Oh, okay, gotcha. I would never, oh, nice. I would never try to, you know, beat, <laughs> beat her there. Uh, Tariq, just as you're about to like take off, I assume you're going to follow yeah. them too. Septi grabs your hand. She's like, "Wait, wait, please!" Uh, and she like pulls you in and gives you a kiss. <gasps> <gasps> Well, how about them apples? Like on the cheek? <laughs> oh my god! No, like, like a kiss, like adults, how, how adults kiss. <laughs> I had to make sure it was ambiguous. What do you mean how adults it was kiss? Well, like, not just a kiss on the cheek, I assume is what she's yeah. saying. Oh my yeah. god! Twas, twas on the lips. Oh, <laughs> twas on the lips. <laughs> 
<laughs> she, and before, like, you kind of like, uh, like, end or after the kiss ends, she kind of like looks at you and goes, "I'm gonna need your help, you and your band of misfits. You guys, you guys have really grown on my heart lately, and I really need your help. We, the city, the city is gonna need your help. We should meet tomorrow morning and we should talk plans. This, we need to help everyone here." What do we do in the meantime? You try to save as many people as you can. Tariq looks uh, back at the, the trail like as he sees uh, uh, Habibi and Tani trailing off. And he says, we'll meet back here tomorrow. Um, I'll, I need to go help them. Meet me at the Grand Mausoleum. It's sanctified holy ground. I don't think Undead will go there. And then, like, you see, as he goes to turn to run, like, he kind of, like, like kind of touches her hand a bit and kind of, like, you know how... You, you like, hold, he's not really holding her hand, but he's kind of just like, just touches it a bit and then he runs off. Yep. Yeah. Oh my uh, gosh. Capri? Yeah. Tar- uh, Kareth, what are you guys doing? Uh, Capri has to go with Tariq. So. Of course. And she's, of course, she going to go and just jab him in the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> she can't reach his shoulder. Anything, please. I can't help it. And then his cheeks are like really red right now. <laughs> and oh, not from no. running or the fight. <laughs> well, um, Kepri and Tariq and Ramses are all going toward, I would say we should go toward the tooth and hookah. So we're, oh, we're splitting the party. Are we? Oh, shoot. Uh, well, yeah. I'm going to go help Tawny. Yeah, let's go Tawny help Tawny. Never mind. I forgot about splitting is bad. All right, continue. <laughs> splitting I'm is very bad. Especially when there's undead on the run. <laughs> go, go, go. We're going to the Ani Rule household. number zero. Never. Ever split the party? Uh, yeah, ever? I I don't know why I thought Splitting about the party that. especially not during die. a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kareth probably followed after Tani and Habibi. Probably only like a moment after they took off. He was already yeah, gone. Probably <laughs> didn't see the whole uh, kiss. Oh, they didn't see the show or, either. <laughs> uh, or Capri uh, fangirling. You guys, um, we we cut from the from the from the siblings to the uh, to Kareth, Habibi, and Tani, and you guys are like running through the streets. Tani is kind of like hyper fixated, like see all these like there's like a zombie that pops up from the alleyway, jumps at her, she does a spin, like slices in half, and just keeps going. Doesn't even look at her good work and stuff. Um, and then you guys, as you guys are like going down this hall or down this hall down this street, you can see. Um, Tawny, you can see your house, like, maybe, uh, like, a thousand yards down. Like, you can see, like, you know you're, like, in the neighborhood. You're very close. But then you hear a scream. And Habibi, you recognize it as your mom's voice. (gasps) Oh, no. And it sounds close. I'm obviously, like, looking to see if I can find out where she is because it's my mom. Uh, so you kind of, like, stop real quick. You spin on your heels and you see this uh this this building just kind of like around the corner from where you guys were just very briefly um at the canny jackal and do you like try to follow the voice what like tawny's is kind of like perpendicular to your path like tawny can see her family and yours is kind of like off at a 90 degree angle from this street what would you like to do i mean as much as my parents bother me i still love my mom so I'm going to go after my mom because if I think she's in trouble and I hear her, I know she's close. So I'm going to go after her. All right. So Habibi breaks off and like screams, mom. And then he like turns a corner. Tawny, you hear this. You spin around. You see Habibi ducking down this alleyway. Kareth is just behind him. What do you do? I'm going to tell Kareth to follow Habibi. And I'm going to keep running to my house. Because if I can get home, my parents, even though they don't look like it, they can fight. Well, yeah, because her mom's also a barbarian. Remember those hugs? (laughs) Yes. So. That's true. That's a very good point. All right. Habibi, you turn the corner. Kareth, you're just like a few feet behind uh, him. Maybe like five, ten feet, not even. And as Habibi, you turn the corner, you see six more zombies. And they're closing in on... Uh, you both, your mom and your dad, they're cornered. They're like hugging each other. And you can see for the first time, your dad has an emotion other than disappointment and shame. He's terrified. And he's like hugging his mom. And he's trying to, or his mom, your mom, his wife. And he's like trying to get in between her and the zombies. And he's like, back your devils. And he's like holding up this holy symbol of Osiris and his hand is trembling. The zombies do not respond. They lunge forward to attack him. What do you want to do? Uh, I went to kill the zombies can i all right can i cast a three action heal 
let's jump right in initiative and we'll see what happens. Uh-oh. Here oh, we go, no. Habibi. Tariq, Kepri, and Ramses, I will also put you in this initiative as well. Same with you, Tani. But uh, you will all be at least one full turn away okay. from, like, entering the fight if you want to get into it. Tani, I still don't know if you're, like, once you hear this actual, like, spell casting or whatever you want to you wanna call it. I don't know if you want to interact uh, at all or you want to just beeline it straight for your parents. I, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to say that it's going to be two rounds for Tani to come back. All right, two rounds for Tani. So it's going to be the first zombie. Uh, Habibi, they don't really notice, they don't seem to notice you're there yet. So they're going to kind of like shamble upwards and they're going to try and attack your mom first. Uh, and they run with this attack and you just see like this brutal gash like form across your mother's chest and like her, her pearls kind of like fly out and like bounce across the street as she takes mortal damage and she falls down. She's now dying one. Oh! It's going to be the other zombie's turn. And this one seems to have been close enough. It does notice you. It shambles up towards you. And it's going to target you. And it's going to try and similarly attack you. You see a fist, like, ball up and come up to your stomach. A 19 to hit you. That just hits me. All right. You're going to take 13 points of bludgeoning damage. This other zombie is going to march forward. And as it steps forward, you kind of see this broken wagon beneath its feet. And there's this other corpse underneath it. Um, it strides up towards your dad this time and gives him a like a jab against the head. And he also goes to dying one. Karith, it is your turn. All right. Um, I want to try and handle the... I want to try and deal with the zombies that are up close to uh, Habibi's parents. Um, it's not difficult terrain out here or anything, right? Mm -mm. Okay. Come on. All right, so I'm going to like run <laughs> up north um, as fast I, as I can, um, and I'm gonna get uh, right below. Um, I think that's Dad. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so right in between uh, some zombies. So let me move for my first action up here. Um, and this is not still part of the same initiative, right? This is totally different, no. so the time would have yep. passed between those things. Okay. Uh, um, what things? Uh, I was mostly thinking about the siphon weapon, um, but we also would not oh, have yeah. had oh. enough time for me to fix uh, my weapon to be stable, right? Like, I still Yeah, your, your thing is still unstable. Okay. I will say it's only been, like, two rounds since the... Since the um, the canny jackal maybe three rounds it's not been that long time like this is like two buildings behind the okay. canny jackal you guys probably could have gone there in like at, at most four rounds okay so the siphon weapon could still be active then because that one mm -hmm. is you have to make the attacks within a minute exactly so you still have two more siphon weapons um so first action move up north uh in between the zombies and right below dad and um can you I'm attack the do... one that's to the left of my dad? Yeah, I'm not going to do a megaton strike yet. I want to first see um, just how weak these things are. So I'm going to target the one right by dad up here, right to the left. And try and hit him or her. Could okay. be a girl zombie. I don't know. So what'd you get? Um, that is an 11 on the die for a 24 to hit. A 24 is a crit. Nice. Um... Is it light enough that I don't need to roll a flat check? Yeah. you. I mean, it, it's like low light now, so you have, like, because that's what nighttime are, is, okay. right? Elves have low light vision yeah. because they're hunters. They're nocturnal hunters. That's why they have low light vision. Okay, so, so I'm good. This You're just your natural habitat right, right. now. Cool, 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 cool. All right. In total, that is 34 points of damage. That is nearly a dead zombie, but it's still up. All right, I need it. Um, well, it does. It doesn't actually get a save for this. Uh, my spear kind of pierces through its uh, leg, uh, impairing it a bit, and it is now going to be clumsy one until the start of my next turn. All right, perfect. Um, I still have I an. You have, I still have an action yep, left. You have yeah. one more action left. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna attack it again. Go for it. All right, so this is attack number two. That 
boys and girls is going to be a dead fucking zombie because that is a natural <laughs> 20. <laughs> yes. Go care. Yes. Yes. Roll the damage. It still has a ton of hit points left. Roll the damage. All right, all right, all right. It could be left with like one or two. You don't know. How's a uh, 47 uh, points of damage? <laughs> All right, that's a little bit more than just a ton of hit points. So yeah, now you can celebrate as a dead zombie. Huzzah! The zombie has fallen into ash. That All right. was all three actions. Perfect. Tawny, you hear some screaming. You hear Kareth, uh, like, doing his battle cries and Habibi screaming out for his mom and dad. But you can see your parents just a few yards away. And you said you still sprint towards your parents. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that they're okay Perfect. before turning back. All right, Habibi, it is now your turn. Okay, so Habibi is shaken. He is shook. Um, so you <laughs> see his eyes that are super wide, bug-eyed, and he's like a little shaky. He's sweating. He's going to use all three of his actions and kind of stumble through a three-action heal spell, which should hit all the zombies because Kareth took care of the one that was out of his 30-foot range. Uh, what's the 4-2 DC again? It is DC like 21, because I am not frightened. 20, 21. All right. All right. So I got a 16, a 13, a 17, and a 23. So one success, uh, three failures. How much damage is that? Uh, thanks to Osiris, I rolled 24 <laughs> points of healing Oh, my damage. gosh. Also, 24 points. Yeah, Kareth gets some of that, too. And my parents. Yes, he does. Uh, you will remember from your last zombie fights that they have a weakness to vitality and both your parents regain this energy as well. They're just like immediately vitalized. They're no longer dead or no longer dying. They're just wounded. Um, all right. So, wow, that was a very strong heal. We move on to the zombie closest to mom and it is still mindless. Hmm. Does it try to go for the kill? I think it does because it is still mindless. It attacks mom for one more hit, damaging her. Uh, let's see how much damage actually. Let me roll. 10 points of damage. So your healing was so potent and powerful, it actually doesn't fully like injure mom. Uh, mom yeah, mom only takes uh, some damage <laughs> as he like he, he punches her in like the, the head or something, I don't know. And then one more attack and this one this one is going to bring her down. No! She's going to go down. She was wounded two from before. She's now going to jump straight down to dying three. Ah! What? Oh my god. What? You're just trying to kill my parents. Tariq, it is your turn. I've already spent uh, my oh, round. That's right. I was going to say. Yeah, you're, you're, I'm you're running. running over here. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. I'm All running. Right. Okay. Should have got feet. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have Another feet. Zombie. I have regular feet. <laughs> Another zombie approaches you, Habibi, and it is going to spend its final action attacking you. I rolled a 27 on the die, or total, on 27 on the die. Uh, 27 is a hit. Not a crit. 15 points of bludgeoning damage. The final zombie is going to stride up towards Kareth this time, flanking with uh, Habibi's dad, and it's going to try and attack, let's see here, 22 to hit. That is- I assume that's a that's hit. That's exactly a hit, actually. Perfect. <laughs> 12 points of bludgeoning damage. I feel fine because of Habibi's healing. Capri, you and Ramses finally make it onto the scene. You guys walk in around the corner and you can see Habibi and Kareth fighting off against a bunch of these zombies. Tanya is nowhere to be seen. What do you do? Oh my god. Capri immediately panics a little bit and uh, she's going to use her first action. Well... Yeah, she's going to use her first action to go for these two right in front of Habibi because Habibi needs to get okay. up to his parents, okay? All right, so she's yeah. going to go ahead and do an electric arc. Zap, zap, fire away. How much? 14. Oh, that's good. 14 points of damage. Nice. All right. Let's see here. One of them got a 12, so that's a failure. So it's going to take the full damage. The other one rolled a total of an 11. Yes. <laughs> Which I believe is a critical failure. That is a failure, critical failure, take, yes. They're going to take double damage. They're still up, but just barely. You have one action left. Um, I'm going to activate Ramses. Ramses yeah. activates? Um, oh, well. Yeah, activate Ramses. And he's going to go ahead and move up next to Habibi. And he is going to okay. use Jaw Strike toward the bloodied one um, catty corner to Habibi. All right, Jaw Strike away. Strike one. <laughs> 17. 
A 17 hits. Oh, Hell yeah. Nice. Zombies are not very tanky, let's say. They have a lot of hit points, but their AC and reflex are very low. 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage is not enough to kill it, but it is enough to bring it down to bloodied. It is very badly hurt. All right. Uh, whoops. We're going to move on to the zombie that was attacking Dad. And, uh... Or was it attacking Kareth? I don't remember. No, it was definitely attacking Dad. It's going to attack, deal some damage. Let's see how much damage. 16 points of damage. Not enough to kill Dad, but bring him down to just four hit points. And he falls back down to the ground. He's, like, bleeding, grabbing his his, his chest. Mary! Mary, save us, please! Uh, this zombie is going to see fresh meat in Ramses, and it's going to target him. Natural one. We're going to try one more time. <laughs> Natural two. Natural one again. <laughs> really? I, I got two ones, man. <laughs> Kareth, it is your turn. All right, let's try and get rid of these zombies that are that are hurting Habibi's parents. Um, <laughs> he, he's not very fond of dad because he's heard the stories. Question. Yeah. Can you explode if you're unstable? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, when <laughs> Try to kill my parents. <laughs> well, I was saying he could move here and then explode oh. in a 10 foot burst, and that would get everyone, but. Uh, I can't do 10 foot burst yet. Oh, got got a couple then. more levels for that. Right now it's still 5 foot burst. I mean, you could level but... us up if you want to. I mean... <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, but while sure the innovation is unstable, you can't do anything with the unstable trait. Yeah, I know that. So. I, was, I, did, I didn't know if explode had the unstable or not. Yep, it does. Anyways. But I cannot. But if it wasn't unstable, I would instead be trying to use Searing Restoration. On mom. Maybe not yet. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to attack um, this zombie right here that's right in front of me and uh, right. is trying to nom on mom. Nom, <laughs> nom, nom. on mom. <laughs> yep. uh, nom on mom. And the uh, siphon weapon is now off, so I don't have those penalties. <laughs> I think I'm about to kill your other zombie. Uh, that is Please an 18 do. on the die. For a 32. Yeah, that's definitely a crit. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Kareth. 34 points of damage. That thing is super dead. Nice. That means it's not clumsy. Good to know. Um, You know what? Just to make sure. Actually, no. Hold up. Back up. Question first. This zombie over here that is catty corner to mom, does it look about the same off as the one I just killed does, or does it look a bit healthier? Uh, they only took damage from Habibi's heal, so they all have the exact same hit points. All right, then I'm going to do a Mega 10 strike on that one for my second okay. attack and final actions. All right, go for it. Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know. That might be a hit because their AC is so low. But is it this low? The five. The worst I can say is it's a miss. <laughs> well, seventeen hits, so. So it might be close. Uh, it's a five on the die, so it's pretty low. Fourteen. Fourteen's a miss. Damn it! Oh uh, well. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. All right. Perfect. Uh, Tawny. You run up and you finally make it to your parents' house and you can see that not only your mom, but also your dad and your siblings too are in full barbarian cat frenzy <laughs> mode. <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> and there are these ghouls that are trying <gasps> to attack. Did you get the ghoul specifically for Angela? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. They're trying they're trying to get at your at your parents, but the kids are just like running around back and forth. They have been trained in pouncing technique. <laughs> and they like attack pouncing and they technique. and they like scurry away. <laughs> Meanwhile your mom and your dad are just rah, boosh, and like mid rage, your mom sees you and goes, Oh hi honey, <laughs> come over here, we're having a gale time. Why don't you join us, please? <laughs> <laughs> come, come, come! You're missing all the fun! We're killing zombies! It's like family night, family game night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Um, so, um, Tawny is just gonna be, like, she's gonna look at them and she's gonna be like, okay, y'all are, are good. I'm gonna go back to Habibi. I'll be back, I'll be back! <laughs> and she's gonna turn around. Oh and no, where are you going? Why, why don't you stay a while? We got some food in the kitchen. We just, we're having to... <laughs> is there some... We'll be the back! Real question is, we'll be is back there with the pancakes! <laughs> Pancakes! I should make pancakes tomorrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright. Uh, we cut
cut back from that little bit of brevity or levity as we come back to Habibi. It is in your power to end this. I can feel it. What do you got for me, buddy? Man, I got a, I got my one last three action heal spell. Oh my god. <laughs> I forget that you, since you have that healing font, you have so many heal spells. I know. I know. Even though... Come on, you got this. Uh, I'm, Are you going to use it? Yes, I am. I'm using all of my heal spells. <laughs> fire away! Fire use away, it! Fire away. Three action. Roll damage. Ah, I didn't do good that time. <laughs> it was just 12. Don't forget, they have weakness. Yeah. Huh? But I wanted to kill the one that's by my mom. Hero point. Hero point. I can't hero point for damage. Yeah. It's not a G20. Um, I thought it was a attack roll. No, it's not. It's just a, a burst of healing as it goes out and expands and heals uh, people who are injured and damaged. For example, yourself and also your parents. And me. Uh, I think that's... <laughs> and, and and you, yes, I know. We're, we're not Our we're not worried about you at the there. moment, though. You're you you got plenty of health. <laughs> um, you said twelve hit points. Oh man, that's not that much. Uh, it does deal twelve points of damage to all these other people, though. Yeah, but that's and twelve times weakness. however many there are. You got don't forget that. And that is, uh, they have weakness to vitality as well. Two of them, the ones wow. in front of you just straight up die. And the ones left and right of Kareth are very, very nearly dead. It's this last one. And now suddenly it feels all this positive energy coming from you. It's going to stride down. Oh, good. As long as it doesn't attack my mom again, I was going to cry. <laughs> it goes up to Habibi. And it, gum it comes in with a strike. 20 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. All right, let's do some damage. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Tariq, you are now on the scene. There are two zombies left. What do you got for me? Hmm. Okay. Um. So you see Tariq. He almost runs past everybody. Um, and then you kind of like see him skid to a stop and turn the corner. He comes into the scene. Most of the zombies are already dead. But mm -hmm. uh, for the ones that aren't, let's see. What can he do? So he's going to use his first action to move up beside Habibi, and he's going to just do a regular strike since he used up his spell strike um, against this zombie. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. And he got a 29. A 29 is a crit. Sweet. Go ahead and roll your yes. damage. Kill it. All right. So <laughs> he rolls. Oh, man, that was lame. <laughs> that was only 18 damage for the crit. Um, but, but it does push him back. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just come in, baseball bat, boom, that thing dies. You have, I believe, one action left. Uh, oh yeah, because it was just a regular staff attack. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? Think, do I have any... I know, I think all my spells, though, uh, take two actions. Hmm. But you could always... Get in position. Yeah, get in position. That's true, that's true. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to help out Karath by flanking this last zombie and get behind the last zombie over on the left. Perfect. Last zombie is going to go. Attack Karath, 24 to hit. Uh, That will hit only. All right, 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Attack number two, an eight for I'm certain is a miss, probably even a critical miss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Kepri. Tiny little thing, it is your turn. One zombie left. What do you got for me? Activate Ramses. <laughs> Activate Ramses. Ramses is gonna run up right next to Tariq. Ramses is gonna lick Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. I thought for a second you were gonna Thanks say lick the zombie. <laughs> Thanks for extra detail. <laughs> and then we're gonna do the Jaws strike. <laughs> Alright. 18. 18 hits. Alrighty. And Ramses is gonna lunge forward and give 13 things of damage, three of which are piercing. That is enough Woo! to kill the very Good last boy. zombie. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Just before we end the session, because it's already kind of a long <laughs> one, you guys hear a fervent flapping sound. Mm. Like it sounds it like uh, no, it better not like be. A, uh, it sounds it sounds like a tiny little hummingbird. And it comes up in a kind of like a sing-songy voice. It's shouting out, help, help, misfits, help! And we'll see you guys. Oh, what if it's like a messenger bird kind of thing? What? Oh, I think they're like. I've never seen this. 
What I if thought it was going to be a Vargoyle or Eminish. Vargoyle? Yeah, I thought it was Eminish. <laughs> I thought, yeah, me too. I thought that was going to be. Hey, maybe this is worse. Oh. <laughs> but it looked our so. Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed the episode. If you liked what you heard, then please like, share, or subscribe to the Mithril Tabletop. You can find us on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, and Instagram. Or always feel free to email us at themithraltabletop at gmail.com. We'll see you next week. Music and sound effects are provided to you by Envato Elements. The Mummy's Mask is copyright 2014. Mummy's Mask images, characters, and artwork are a trademark of Paizo Incorporated.